landed on that, that would have been impressive how sketchy it was. Dude, I know. Uh... Oh, 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 Do you guys know those times when you've ordered like a complete scooter, maybe just a scooter part off of the scooter site, maybe something like rapturepro-scooters.com? But anyways, you guys know that feeling, right? When you're like waiting all day long, looking out the window, every single car that passes by, you think it's the delivery man? Or well, I've literally been doing that all day long. Seriously, every car that passes by, I like look out, I'm like, oh, is that the delivery man? Because today we have a massive Rapture Pro Scooter titanium bar restock. We've been out of the aero bars and the uh, T-bars for like over like a month and a half now. Actually, we sold out of the aero bars within like two weeks of releasing them, so that was insane. We just started pre-orders, and by the time this video actually gets up, we'll have the aero bars back on the site ready for you guys. But I've got a bunch of boxes out there I gotta go grab, and then we're gonna bring them in, show you guys the new bars, and then uh, get on with the day. That is a lot of titanium. That awesome unboxing feeling just literally never goes away. I don't care how many boxes you unbox or how many packages you pack, that feeling just that you get in your stomach when you're about to open a box of something that you haven't seen, it just is so exciting. And like I said before, I feel like a little kid when I'm not, like unboxing these packages for Rapture, even though I literally see these parts every single day. It's just so exciting, especially when we get a massive order like we just did. I've got a ton of more boxes. That's just the first box of many to do. So I'm going to go ahead and bust through these real quick. And now we're going to shoot up this Cinderville skate park because, well, it's beautiful out. Look at that weather. You gotta have to take my word for it. It's beautiful outside. So let's go get our stuff at Cinderville Skate Park. We've been riding around for a little bit up here at Cinderville Skate Park, but it's a little busy. So I'm gonna head in this bowl right now and get a couple tricks, maybe a couple lines to see what we can cook out. You wanna see a kickless? Yeah. Yeah. We managed to snag a couple clips up here at Centerville, but it was a little bit too busy to get anything too crazy. So what I decided to do was I posted on my story a call of the shots. So you guys watching this won't be able to actually call any shots, but what you guys can do is you guys can go to my Instagram, turn on post notifications for my story so you guys can go find out when I'm gonna post a new call of the shots video. See you, Tyler. <laughs> yes. So like I was saying, you guys can hit those post notifications on my story for Instagram so you guys can make sure to catch my next call of the shots. But I'm gonna come back here tomorrow we're gonna get a nice little bit of call of shots. So when I come back, uh, should be tomorrow. I completely forgot to set out my pads last night. So literally every single pad is still soaking wet from last night's session. But anyways, we made it back up to Centerville Skate Park and it's now the next day. And it's time to get to those shots that you guys called. I checked last night and there was a lot. There's probably at least, I wanna say like 40 to 50 calls in there. So I'm gonna pick through them, pick my favorites and uh, some unique ones. Cause you know, I always like to try unique tricks. But uh, I'm gonna finish getting padded up down here. I gotta put on these soaking wet pads, which if you guys have ever done it before, you know that feeling when you put your helmet on and it just like is pre-moist and cold. That's such a gross feeling. But anyways, we're gonna throw the pads on and I'll see you guys at the park. I forgot to mention, it's like dumb windy out here as well because it's about to rain. So we only have like an hour and a half max to get all these clips. So hopefully I can get a bunch of your guys' calls before it starts raining, but uh, let's go get warmed up. Normally I'd send a couple warm lines, but because it's about to rain and it's really windy out I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into this call of the shots So I'm gonna start out with a couple easy ones just to make sure I'm nice and warmed up for the day And then we'll bust out some harder ones. So let's go ahead and pick one right here Yeah, I like that one Caden. He always likes to make sure I still got them bunny hops Let's send it on something. Let's jump up this thing Hey 
go, man. Thanks. Absolutely. You guys want to uh, pick my next trick? I have a list of tricks out here that people caught on my Instagram. If you want, you want to scroll through and just pick one. Yeah. Cool. Quad whip. Quad whip. All right, I'm done doing quad whip. Okay, who commented that one? Awesome, the boy Jay. All right, let's get. It. That quad whip felt too good, and I know I saw a quint whip on here. So the next trick is going to be a quint whip from. Burin says that I'm super bad at names, so I'm not gonna really attempt the names. I'll just put the names right here on the screen for everybody to see as I do them. But oh, right now, we're gonna get this quinwit for you. Moving right along into the next one, I see a crazy invert would be satisfying. I've got you right here. So far, so good. We haven't messed up yet, and We've got the easier ones out of the way, so now it's time to start bumping it up into the harder tricks. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the elbow pads, and then let's move on to... We got Superman Finger Whip. Darn, I totally just chopped myself out of the footage right here. I'm gonna have to do that again. It's getting a little bit more crowded here, so it's getting really hard to hit a lot of these jumps. So we're gonna try to mash a couple of these next ones together. We're gonna try to do a 360 bar spin, 360 tuck, and then I saw also a couple 360 double bar spins on there. So far, so good. We've had quite a few done already, but uh, it is a little crowded, so hopefully no one's running from the clips for you guys on the other side. I'm trying my best to get like the angle and then also like make sure no one's like running from the lens, so it's getting a little bit hard. I was wanting to bust out a lot more for you guys, but probably gonna only be able to get a few more because it's getting really packed. But let's go ahead and try a buttercup. I saw one right here. And then right next to that, we got a buttercup bar spin air. So we're gonna just do them back to back. We're gonna keep the line going, see if we can just link in the bar spin. Oh, it's a semi. Oh. oh, just do it. We are absolutely struggling with this trick. I think I'm on like five tries deep right now, and each time my hands want to throw the bar spin, but each time it does it, it doesn't really feel secure because my hands are soaking wet. It's like so humid out here today, so every trick's going a little sloppier than it should, but we're going to knock this out right here. moving far away from that buttercup bar spin that took way too long but we're gonna move on to the next one now and up next I'm looking through the list and I see SZN.Logan says when I do these I don't get picked but front bry double whip so I want to pick yours but I can't front bry double whip so I'm gonna like change it up a little bit I'm gonna go for a front buttercup technically still involving two whips and an inward so hope you're okay with that Logan let's get it for you right here we're not gonna talk about how sketch that was, but we got it. So now we're moving on to the next trick, which is gonna be a triple whip and a finger whip. So we're gonna link it in this line right in here. Just gonna stick it on my GoPro instead of getting a second angle on this one. Moving right along, we're gonna keep scrolling down this list, see if we can find another good one. I see Jake over here with the whip umbrella. I'm not even going to attempt that trick. He knows how bad I am at that trick, so. That's kind of like a little inside joke there. Let's see, what do we want to try? A few minutes later. Ah, here's a good one. We got whip front, whip air. And then also I'm gonna try to link that in with this one right here, bride double. We're gonna go ahead and move right along. I'm not sure how many tricks I've already knocked out, but we've done enough to at least work up a pretty good sweat. So let's move on to the next one. Looking at this list right here, we've got I see this one right here from Max Astizi behind the leg can can. I think it's called the crane. I've actually never known what this trick is called, but the crane sounds the coolest and the most likely to be the correct name. So we're gonna get the crane done for you. That trick is seriously so much fun. And I've actually had a lot of you guys ask me to make a tutorial on that specific trick. So if you guys want me to make a tutorial on the crane, Drop a comment down below in the comments so I can see who, how many of you guys want to actually learn this trick because, well, it's really fun. On this next one, I know I already did a 360 double bar spin, but I got a specific call right here, double truck, small box. So we're gonna get that done for you. I just felt my first raindrop, so we're gonna have to scoot through these next ones really fast. So let's pick just a couple more good ones. Up here on the first list, we got my girl Angel. Flare triple whip. Oh, she also commented something down here. <laughs> I'll make sure to get that one later. 
but let's go ahead and get this flare trip away for you. I always love when we get the flare trip whip first try. It's always a nice day because it means the day is running pretty smooth, which means we're ready for the five flare. Let's get it on the five foot right there. I don't think I've ever done one anywhere else besides this quarter pipe, so we're going to stick to what we know. Now let's get it first try. Oh, we landed so front heavy. Dang. <laughs> Dude, I know. We're gonna see if we can get this next one a little more straight up and down. I keep going parallel with the coping, which is never good because then you can't spot your landing. So let's see if we can get this one, take off straight, and cook this one around. You know it's a sketchy landing when your deck slightly hits the ground before you actually do the trick and land it. So. With that one, we're gonna call it on this game of Call the Shots. Thanks so much to all you guys who called tricks. That was super sick. I had a great time, and uh, we luckily missed the rain. So it started sprinkling just a little bit, so we're gonna wrap it up there. But uh, we got pretty much everything I wanted to do in that Call the Shots, so not, not sad about that at all. But we're gonna head back home now. We've gotta go pack up some arrow bars now because there's quite a few of you guys that have already pre-ordered the arrow bars, which is awesome because last time, like I said, we sold out in two weeks, and uh, literally like the people who wanted them didn't really get a full chance to like actually get them so this is your chance now if you want them pre-order them right now actually by the time this video is out it'll be just good to go so hopefully they're still in stock so you guys can get a chance to snag a pair before they're all gone but i'll see you guys at home We're finally done. Oh my gosh, there was so many pre-orders there that I had to package up, that was intense. But we're finally done. I know for you guys it probably took like two seconds of editing, but for me it was a couple hours of packaging and making sure everybody who ordered and pre-ordered the bars got accounted for. So thank you guys so much to every single one of you guys that pre-ordered the Rapture Aero bars. You guys rock and you guys will be getting them before anybody else has really a chance to get them because you pre-order them, they're in the mail coming to you guys right now. So. Thank you guys very much. Also, anybody who ordered the T-Bars that were out of stock, they are now back in stock, so you're good to go if you want to order those bars as well now. But I am pooped after riding yesterday and then riding today and doing the call of shots and now packaging orders. I am I'm pretty dead, so that's going to be the end of today's video. But before we tune out, I want to thank each and every single one of you guys who take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And also, thank you so much for supporting Rapture Pro Scooters. You guys who order make... Just, it just means so much to me. Seriously, I can't even thank you guys enough. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.